I'm currently in the middle of redesigning the mini toolkit which I use regularly for a lot of my work and I wanted to show you a little project from it. Being quite fond of the cheap USB soldering irons, I wanted to update it and add a USB-C socket to the back. For how inexpensive they are and their worldwide availability, I think these irons are pretty decent. If you're doing a lot of work or something more intricate, you might need something more powerful, but for a lot of small, quick tasks, it does the job well enough. It's so light and small that I can take it with me, say if I'm repairing something around the house, and because it's USB powered, I can power it multiple ways, through a charger, power bank, or a computer's USB port. The only thing I'm not fond of is the USB to 3.5mm cable which is required to power it. I don't use this cable for anything else, and that's why I wanted to switch it with a USB-C one. I was originally planning to take the iron apart, remove the 3.5mm socket and replace it all manually, and I was going to design a 3D printed case and all the rest, but I realised it's much simpler to just add USB-C using a custom adapter, so I scrapped my initial plans and made one. This little thing has its own 3.5mm jack and simply plugs into the back of the iron, routing the 5V and ground through the USB-C socket. The two main components needed are firstly a USB-C breakout board. If you're going to make your own, find one that looks just like this as there are many variations. This one has four contacts on the back. Just search for USB-C female breakout. The other component is the 3.5mm 2 or 3 pole jack. These are also generic, so when you search, use keywords like 3-pole, male plug, 3.5mm, solder, and hopefully it'll pop up. I just used one I already had on hand, so if you can't find the exact one, you may need to redesign the 3D printed collar so it holds the jack snugly. Inside is straightforward. Just cut down the contacts at the end of the jack and solder two wires to it. You only need the two pins for 5 volt and ground, as indicated here, so you can remove the other one if you have a 3-pole jack. Once complete, you solder the other end of the wires to the 5V and ground contacts on the breakout board. After that, you glue the collar around the jack, place the USB-C breakout and wires into the case, and screw the top on using two M1.4 x 6mm screws. Once the collar and jack is screwed in, it holds everything in place. I think that's all there is to say about it. The adapter is simple and does the job. I intend to just leave it on the end of my iron from now on. I also went a bit further and painted the case black just to finish it off and I'm very pleased with the result. If you want to make your own, the source files are linked in the description. I'm guessing a few of you have one of these so hopefully it's useful. I just wanted to mention a couple of things at the end of the video. Firstly, thank you to all the people who have been reading MOSFET.net since it launched a couple of weeks ago. I appreciate all the feedback and glad you seem to like it. I'm also looking for a front-end web developer to collab with on an open source HTML template project. It will be a free resource for designers, engineers and makers. If you want to help build something great, send your portfolios and GitHub links to frontenddev at node. Alright, that's it. Thanks again for everything. I've got a lot planned for this year, so stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.